Moses was a servant, Jesus is a son. I hope mm -hmm. you see the comparisons. Yes, amen. <laughs> on one yeah. side, you have the builder. On the other, you have the house. On one side, you have the creator. On the other side, you have the creation. On one side, you have the son. On the other side, you have the servant. Jesus is amen. superior to Moses. Amen, amen, amen. amen. But God said, Moses, I speak to him face to face. He's greater than others, even him. I, others, I speak in dreams and visions, but Moses, I speak to him face to face. But Jesus is superior. To Amen. Amen. Because Amen. Jesus is a son, one who owns everything, the one who is Lord of all, the one who is the creator of all. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Amen. 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 What a blessing, what a blessing. Continue, continue. Read, read verse 5 and 6. Let's, 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 let's hear what they're saying again. And Moses verily was faithful in all his house as a servant for a testimony of those things which were to be spoken after. Yes. But Christ as a son over his own house, whose house are we? If yeah. we hold fast the confidence and the rejoicing of the hope firm unto the end. Amen, amen, amen. So we see there again mentioning that Jesus is the son. Moses is the servant. The servant does not own everything. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The son is an heir, an heir to everything. The son owns everything. Amen. 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 Jesus Amen. is the builder. Jesus is the creator. Moses is the servant. Moses is the building. Moses is the creation. And we see that. So we started in Hebrews, Hebrews chapter 1. We saw when we declared that Jesus is superior to all the prophets. Verse 1. Can you read Hebrews 1.1, 1, 1, please? Hebrews 1.1. 1, 1. Yes, sir. Yeah. God, who at sundry times and in, div in diverse manners speak in time past unto the fathers by the prophets. Yeah. But in these last days spoken unto us by his son, oh, whom, yeah. whom he had appointed heir of all things, by yeah. whom also he made the worlds. Exactly. So we see then the Jesus is heir of all things, and Jesus is the one that made all, all wow. the world. Amen? Amen? And that is Amen. what is being now confirmed Amen. there as Jesus is God, and he's also a builder of everything. Amen? Amen? Amen. Jesus, when he brings his message, you know, verse 1 is saying, chapter 1, verse 1, that in this last day, God has spoken to us by his son. He's bringing his message as God to you. Mm -hmm. But Moses Amen. brought his Amen. message via the angels to you. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So we are saying even the message that is coming is superior. Amen. Amen. It's not just the vessel that is superior. The vessel, the apostle, this high priest mm -hmm. is superior. But Amen. also also the message. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So in the morning when you're praying or in the evening when you're praying, just say, Jesus, I want to thank you because you are the creator of all. You're the builder of all. Jesus, I want to thank you because you are the apostle and the high priest of our calling, of my calling. Hallelujah. I want to thank you because you're the carrier of the word of life. You are the one that carries the word that can deliver me, the word that can save me. You are the one that reveals to me my heavenly calling. Jesus, I want to thank you because you're superior to angels. You're superior to Moses. You're superior to all the prophets. There is none that can be equal to you. Jesus, I thank you. Amen. Amen. 